Sampled instruments have become incredibly expressive recently through the use of articulations. These articulations capture the instrument in different playing styles. For example, a violin sample may switch between different bowings of legato, staccato, include trills, or even pizzicato. These articulations are often switched by using key switches on a MIDI keyboard or different controllers and MIDI messages. Discovering and managing these articulations within the sequencer has always been a nuisance as the articulation switches are often treated as standard MIDI events. This was a problem until Steinberg created VST Expression. VST Expression manages these articulations to achieve a more realistic sounding performance and integrate perfectly within the composing environment. VST Expression maps are included with instruments like Halion 1 and are installed for the Halion Symphonic Orchestra, which the trial version comes with Cubase 5. These expression maps can be created by users or it can be edited right here under the MIDI menu in the VST Expression setup. So I can see my different instrument articulations here. Now we'll look at some of the key switches here, but we're not limited to just key switches. They could be different key switches here, second key switch programs, channels, different controllers, different channels length based on velocity, minimum velocity, or transposing. And we could see that if we have an applicable musical notation symbol, that these can be associated with the available articulations. Now to quickly find the VST expression tracks, we can actually use track presets. So if I wanted to come here to my media bay, we could just simply come over here and I could go to my track presets for Halion 1 or for my Halion Symphonic Orchestra. And one of the easy ways to determine if there are VST expressions is you'll actually see a suffix of VX and that indicates that there are VST expressions available for that particular instrument. Now our VST expressions will also show up right here in our inspector. So as I move to different channels, so if I go to my bassoon versus my violins versus my uh, violas, I could see all of my available articulations show up right there on my inspector. So this way I can actually see what available articulations are there for the sample. So let's go ahead and take a quick listen to an example using the Halion Symphonic Orchestra 16-bit version that the trial versions included with Cubase and we'll go ahead and just play. Now we'll take a look at how easy it is to edit the articulations. Double clicking on a MIDI part will launch you by default into the MIDI key editor. And now we could select in our controller lane articulations. So instead of just being limited to velocity, pitch bend, or modulation, I can now see my articulations. And now when I actually see my articulation lane, I could actually see I have different lanes for arco, pizzicato, tremolo, trill, whole tone, trill half tone, and pizzicato. So if I wanted to come over here, let's listen to our phrase. Now there are two different types of articulations, attributes and directions. Attributes are assigned to an individual note, whereas a direction is actually for a continuous range of notes. A direction will remain until it's actually sent another direction message. Now let's say these 30 second notes here uh, didn't speak as well as I would like them to. So what I could do now is I'm going to select those notes and then I'll see I want those to be staccato. I'll go to the bottom, hold down my alter option key and now I'll just enter those in. And now it's automatically sent that key switch. Now let's say we want to go on a little further. So let's say this note, I wanted to insert a trill. So we'll kind of zoom in just a little bit here. And I'll hold down my Alt key and I'll just drop it in. And let's say these notes, I want to be pizzicato. So this will actually be a direction. So when I enter this in, you'll actually see it become automatically elongated until it receives another direction of, let's say, an arco. So now we'll just have this play. Now 
Now, one of the problems with doing these types of articulations in other sequencers is that the, these are actually often just triggering low MIDI notes that are kind of beyond the uh, actual range of the instrument. So when we go to our notation editor, these low notes automatically show up and then we have to filter out all of the low notes. Now, even though they are MIDI notes that switch the articulation, we don't necessarily want to see those when we go into our score editor. So if I launch my score editor, I can now see that my staccatos have automatically been entered. My trills, my pizzicato, my arco have automatically be, been entered here. Now, as I select, I can actually come over here into my score inspector and I'll see all of my articulations here. So if I wanted to select a group of notes, even in my score editor, I can now come right over here and I could just drop it in my staccato. And that will automatically translate into my MIDI key editor, into my score editor. And if I needed to export all these articulations to another notation package, I could actually just simply export these as a music XML file, and that will be carried over into other notation packages. So one of the beautiful things of the VST expressions, again, in true Steinberg fashion, is it's an open system. So not only will you get presets done for Halion 1, for Halion Symphonic Orchestra, for the brand new Halion Sonic, but also third-party companies have made their own expression maps like Vienna and Garretton. So now one of the other beautiful things is if you could actually come right over here and create all of your own VST expression setups. VST expression unleashes the power of your instrument to achieve incredibly realistic and expressive results.